Well, we are now approaching the third year of the pandemic. We, also, we are still learning a lot about this virus, including the vaccines. In fact, tests are being done on a vaccine right now that could protect us better from the Omicron variant. CBS 8's Shannon Handy had a chance to interview Moderna's chief medical officer about that today. He also answered some of the questions you, our viewers, might have about it. Shannon, what did you learn? Yeah, Carlo and Heather, he touched on several topics today. Uh, Dr. Paul Burton says an Omicron specific booster trial is underway where participants are actually getting that Omicron booster. And depending on how things go, it could be available to the public at pharmacies like this one in just the next couple of months. Now, he also touched on a new study released last night from the New England Journal of Medicine, which tested people six months after they were vaccinated and boosted to see how protected they still are against COVID-19. Here's what they found. So what we found is that there is good news. There is still protection. There's still antibody levels uh, in those people against the, uh, the original version of the, the virus and also against Omicron. But in both cases, it has waned. It's come down over those six months and more with Omicron. So that's an important finding. You know, people should still be reassured there's still protection, but it begins to decline. So as you heard him say, after six months, that protection wanes. Dr. Burton believes by the fall, we'll all be needing a fourth shot. However, the CDC has urged people who have weak immune systems to get a fourth shot now, as opposed to waiting for a new Omicron vaccine to come out. Dr. Burton also talked about the new Omicron subvariant, which has been discovered here in San Diego. He says it's concerning because it appears to be spreading quickly in other parts of the world. So he says it's too soon to tell how it compares to Omicron or other variants. Bottom line, he says COVID is not going away, which is why it's so important to get vaccinated and boosted. I don't think COVID is ever going to go away. I don't think this is like uh, polio or smallpox where you can basically annihilate it. I think, you know, we've, we know time and time again from this whole family of these types of viruses that they will remain dormant, they'll wax and wane. We'll learn to live with them. But really the best thing we can do, and I know this is difficult for everybody, everyone is fatigued, is to get vaccinated and get boosted and get out a level of broad immunity up and up and up, then I think we have some chance of really pushing it into the endemic phase. As for the current Omicron surge we're seeing, he expects it to reach its peak in the next few weeks. So here in San Diego, we have seen numbers drop over the past few days. Carlo and Heather. Yeah, Shannon, he mentioned this Omicron specific vaccine that again is under the testing phase right now. As far as it including the other variants, did he have any comment on that? For instance, for people who would get that new vaccine again in the work still, would it be good for the past variants that have already moved on through? He says ideally yes. So right now they have to wait a little bit of time to see how this vaccine will work. And he says before it's made publicly available, basically what they would do is add things to it to ensure it still protects against the original COVID-19, the Delta and other variants. So that's their hope. And again, that's why they have to go through these testing phases to see how the current model works and see what they can add to it to ensure that it works against other uh, Variants, so uh, a lot going on with this and we will of course stay on top of it. But again, yes, even uh, more than two years after this started, we are still learning more about this virus as well as these vaccines. Yeah, no one happy to hear him saying that we're probably going to have COVID uh, staying around and have to deal with it in some form or another. Shannon Handy reporting live for us on that vaccine update. Thanks, Shannon.